Family back here, Real Comic Book Talk once again. We're gonna be discussing the deleted scenes in Avengers Infinity War, man. Right. I know Tuesday, was that the 31st or something, whatever? The new uh, joint dropped on HD, had all the featurettes and all that. We're gonna discuss the deleted scenes right now. I don't know why you snapped, half of y'all just died. <laughs> so, all right, man, what was your overall thoughts of the deleted scenes? We call that the Thanos effect. Bye. Um, overall thoughts of the deleted scenes were I see why they were deleted and uh, they weren't part of the movie. Um, you know, rightfully so, they probably should have been deleted and not part of the movie. They were uh, they were inter as they were entertaining to watch for something that I just paid for on a DVD. Yes, that's about it. I expected more. I expected way more. This is dang near a three hour movie. You know this is dang near a three hour movie. I wanted way more deleted scenes. All the scenes that we saw in the trailer that were not in the actual movie should have been deleted scenes. They should have been in there. Where were they, Marvel? Where were they? Disappointed. Disappointed in that. Disappointed. They gave us four. What was that all about? How do you feel? Took the words right out of my mouth, man. I was so upset. I'm sitting there grabbing this. I'm, I literally don't buy the HD version. I always just wait till the Blu-ray comes out so I can buy both at the same time. Because usually it comes in a combo. So I waited for this. I was like, you know what? Fitting the water is gonna be bang. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking, I'm thinking Batman vs Superman when they got a whole after 30 minutes, 45 minutes of actual movie. I'm like, okay, here we go. This is it. You know, this help help answer some questions that we got. I'm sitting there watching the movie, watching the deleted scene. I'm like, I see four, but they're gonna be four bangers. I was just holding out hope to the last second. Every four minutes. Everyone, I was like, all right. <sighs> We're fucking done here. Thanks for wasting my time. And now I can't get $20 back. And oh, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely done. This is, I was up, I was so upset. Me show me the Thanos fight when he got the power stone from, oh. from Arnova. He was on Xandar. I know he went to Xandar and got the power stone. Show me the fight. Give me that, at least. I don't care if it's not even done. Just give me that. It be that shit better be a four. It better be a flashback or something. I need to see this motherfucking power stone. That's why I told you. That's why I told you, yo. I he didn't want me not to buy it. I buy it. So, I, you know, I'm about to start. I'm about to watch the director's round table. <laughs> so, I'll make sure I get my buddy's work, goddammit. <laughs> I'm going to watch the old movie with director commentary. I'm going to watch this shit. You got me fucked up. You think I'm going to waste my $20. And that's not even without the taxes. But that's the whole thing, man. All right. From the very only four unnecessary scenes, man, what were your favorite? The, the only one I, that kept me, like, say, hmm, is the Star-Lord one. Because that one's the only one that I could actually see being in the movie as part of the movie. Like, the rest were like, no, no. No. The worst was... Uh, we didn't get to the worst part yet. Yeah, okay, then fine. All right, what was your favorite? Star-Lord was mine. Well, it was going to be Star-Lord. Because that, that one was actually... Like he said, I feel like that was... Might have had a chance to be in the movie. Like, that was one part of the movie. Like, all right, if they put this in, it would make Star-Lord look better against why he went off with Thanos. But, funny purposes, it was that uh, Happy's no best one. Because Happy was uh, <laughs> hilarious. It was like... Burn the of a bitch. <laughs> like, I felt they've done him wrong ever since Iron Man 2. And the reason I like, because you know he was the director of the first Iron Man. He's the one who got Robert Downey Jr. He directed me. the first two. He did. He directed the first two. Okay. Went through, so he directed the first one. Box office success. Started off, launched off Marvel. Everybody was happy. Everybody knows it's a classic. Came back, made Iron Man 2. Didn't receive the same praise. Robert Downey Jr. got him booted off Iron Man 3. That's no longer the record, even though he brought you into it. I don't know. Like, you know, like there's some like, where's your loyalty there? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now everybody, I guess can't, everybody can't be Kendrick Lamar. There's no loyalty in there. <laughs> and then you come back, and then his, he actually was really good in that role. Oh, yeah. And then, I mean, there was one little quick scene, but he was good in it. You have Pepper Potts in it. And y'all just say, you know what? Just gonna cut that out. I don't know what it did, y'all. But well, that scene didn't. It would have never flowed with the uh, rest of the 
Unless, like, while Tony was walking away, Doctor Strange just appeared right while yeah, he Tony just appeared. was walking. Right where he faded away, that's when Doctor Strange was appeared. Would've, would've appeared. Then it would've been like, okay, but even still, Happy would've popped up again. There's no way Tony would've walked away without Happy saying something again. Or pulling up behind him. He walked away without Pepper saying something again. Yeah, they did fade away. They did. I don't know. I guess so. All right. All right. What was your worst thing since you're so eager to get to that? Oh, the worst was the um, was it the Gamora one? Yeah, I didn't like the the Thanos with Gamora. Like, I I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. That's it. There was no real. It didn't feel. It didn't. I didn't like. I liked the version that they put in the movie as opposed to this version. It was more like Thanos was teasing her more and everything instead of showing her how much he cared for her. He was like, see, you did care at one point. Ha, 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 why don't you care anymore? And then they just went back and I was like, oh, man. this just makes me not like Thanos more. When were, the whole purpose was for you to try to be on Thanos' side, you know? Like he's on a mission and this was, the movie for me, was trying to show sympathy for Thanos and see where he stands on everything at the same time of him trying to collect all of the stones and everything. But it's a good thing they didn't. The, the scene just didn't go right for me. It just didn't fit right for me. Mine's, it was the uh, Paris scene or London, whatever. Oh, uh, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch and Vision, whatever city they in. Yeah. And I was watching that, I was like, yeah, I can see why they took this out. It was unnecessary just to have uh, Proxima just going like this on the building making a sound. What do we use an echolocation or something? Yeah. What the fuck is going on around it? Yeah. I'm glad I'm glad somebody in the editing room like man take this shit out. We're done. We're not even we're not even gonna finish the goddamn CG out this. We're not using this. That one didn't flow too right for me. Like And I that's why it was my words. Yeah, that one didn't flow right. <laughs> that's exactly why I remember. But you try I guess they use the echolocation. Yeah, that's the only thing I can make sense of that. And it sucked. I mean, it wasn't worth it. What they had it, the original they had it in the movie it was way better. Yeah. Did a better job, so can't complain. But for the little scene's purpose, it was it was weak, real weak. Even though all of, almost all of them, because it's pissed me off. I thought I was gonna get that Nova fight. Oh, I said, oh. oh man, that's why I told you that earlier in our pre in our previous video. This is why they're going. They're literally going online and, and taking interviews and explain. The Russo brothers are explaining everything now. Like they yeah. even they, they, it's in the other deleted. It's in the other features and stuff and everything. But they do. They're explaining and they're doing interviews. They're explaining all the stuff where the comic fans we need answers are looking like this isn't explained. Explain this. All right, we'll see. Last one of the day, then we gone. I swear, cause this other stuff I could be doing with my time. What is what scene would you have to put in the movie? Out of the deleted scenes? Yeah, I, none of the deleted scenes I'll put in the movie. They weren't. They were deleted for a reason. I feel like they didn't. For this particular, for these particular four deleted scenes, none of them de deserve to be in the movie. They were deleted for a reason, and I can see why. I wouldn't put any of them in there. Not one? No, not even the happy one. The happy is the closest one. The second closest one to the Star Lord. The Star Lord one kind of it just it it, it would have just nah. I still wouldn't have put it in there. I wouldn't have put it in there. Cause when I watch when I watched the movie again, I actually paid attention the second time and caught everything when uh, Go uh, not Good Morning, Nebula actually called him and was like Mantis, Mantis, you know, be there. And then this one was just made. When they said they were sitting there at nowhere for several hours, I was like, what? And Drax was like, we haven't even left yet. I was like, what? I was like, that kind of makes sense, but wow, that's still shock. But it is shock when Gamora gets snatched away like that. It's going to be a shock, so, but no. Me, it was a star Lord scene. That one, I really, see, star Lord has so much hate against him in like almost every meme after the movie. <laughs> He's the reason why it's not happening. Like everything was a bad thought, Star Lord. And that yeah. was, that scene, if you would have put that scene mm -hmm. in the movie, it would have shown how devastated he really was. Oh yeah. When uh Gamora got, Gamora got snatched by Thanos. Like for to sit there and listen to the same song for hours. I'm gonna die, if I like a song, I'm gonna listen to it repeatedly for days. 
but I can't do it for several hours. Like, I'm listening to other songs back to back. I may come through it, play that song again twice, and all right, I'm going to something else. This dude literally said the one song, say, I gotta get back in my groove, specifically the New York groove, <laughs> for hours on end. The only reason he got snapped out of it is because he got the message like, all right, meet me at Xandar. No, because right. Drax took to stop the music. That's yeah, why he, he got snapped out. out. The only reason he got, he I'm talking about, it wasn't I'm talking about the reason, the only reason he got, he got off the planet, he got out off of nowhere, is because he got the deleted messages. I mean, I deleted the message. No, so the mess it's, remember, it's, it's like, because Drax took it. The messages were still sitting there for forever. If Drax never took the thing and he had to come back there and chase Drax. This is what I'm saying. If, she, if, those never, if those messages never were coming through, right? Mm -hmm. At all, point blank period. Like, let's say Neville never, never sent the message. He would have got the song back on, whatever. He would have went the same time. Same thing with Drax and still never left nowhere. He still wasn't in the groove. Right. He got to get stopped mentally. Like I got a chance to get Gamora back. I gotta, if I got to go back to um, Titan, because mm. I know Thanos gonna end up going back to Titan. I got a chance to get Gamora back. Now I can get. Now I got a reason to get up. Like I got a reason to get up and make a move now. Okay. But before that, he did. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. All right. So that one I felt should have been in the movie. At least stop the Star Lord because I'm a Star Lord fan. <laughs> it at least curved it a little bit. Yeah. But you know, I saw. That's all I can do. So, with that being said, man, that's it for us right now. Back right, right here. Um, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you love it, you know, hit subscribe, hit the bell, tell a friend, do all that good stuff, man. If you have, let us know down below what your favorite scenes are, your worst scenes are, the overall thoughts, what was missing, and what scene you actually put in the movie. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Until next time, deuces. We out.